What's going on guys? Austin here. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the extra points, five minute fantasy week 12 booming and busting quarterbacks. So what we're looking at right here, I like Marcus Mariota at Washington. Uh, Washington doesn't have a great defense, uh, but neither does Atlanta. So I think there are going to be some points scored in this game. And because of that, I think Mariota is going to have to make things happen and he's going to do it with his legs too. He got a rushing touchdown last week against Chicago in a high scoring game. I expect something similar this week against Washington. You know, Smith versus Vegas. Now, Vegas doesn't have a great defense. Um, they have an offense that has been able to put up points, especially cheap points that uh, like on broken down plays. Uh, so I think Gino is going to be able to pass a little bit in this game. Trevor Lawrence versus Baltimore. Uh, I think Baltimore should be getting up early in this game. Uh, I mean, they've Baltimore has just been such a disappointing team. And I, I, I know it's going to, you know, come together eventually. Uh, but because of Baltimore's, you know, horrendous pass defense and just bad defense overall, uh, Trevor Lawrence should be able to, you know, throw for some yards and maybe some garbage time touchdowns uh, throughout this game. And then if you're desperate, Matt Ryan and Mac Jones are some low-end quarterbacks that are playing some really, really bad defenses that you might be able to take advantage of those situations there. On the other side, I don't like Tua Tagovailoa this week versus Houston. Houston has a good pass defense. And Miami off a of bye, I think that they're going to, do what is absolutely best to win this game, which is going to end up being running the football on Houston. Houston doesn't have a great run defense. And so uh, I think this game is going to be more close. I think this is going to be more of a Jeff Wilson, uh, Raheem Mostert game right here. Uh, I don't like Jalen Hurts versus Green Bay. It, this just feels like a game where Green Bay is going to, you know, throw their DBs all over the field to be able to contain Jalen Hurts. Uh, and their pass defense is already good enough. Um, so if they if they you know do anything to take away from the run game that Jalen Hurts can do, uh, he's not going to get you many points. Dak Prescott versus the Giants. Um, I mean, the Giants just have a good defense, and they're coming off of an embarrassing performance against the Lions. I think this is a little bit of a comeback game. Same thing for Dak. He's not going to you know put up 40 points every week. This is going to come back. It's a divisional game. It's a short week. Look for lower scoring, so the quarterback is going to be lower on that fantasy list and then be careful of justin fields and jared goff now jared goff has been a pretty good fantasy option in certain games but versus buffalo even though it's at home jared goff at home has been fantastic but on a short week versus buffalo i think that the run game is going to be incredibly featured in this game versus the bills justin fields has a left shoulder injury which is not his throwing shoulder but it's going to be something to monitor the jets have a great defense and Justin Fields is kind of like defense proof. Same thing with like, you know, Lamar and Jalen Hurts and, uh, you know, guys that can run the football, Mariota, Daniel Jones, Josh Allen. But uh, I mean, I think, I think Robert Sala is too smart. He comes from, you know, Shanahan's offensive system and they, they really know what they're doing on the offensive side. So Robert Sala has seen all the creativity that the NFL has to offer. And I think he'll have good packages for Justin Fields, even if Fields does play. So, let me know what you guys think about that. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay up to date on all of our future content.